Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. If you logged on a minute ago and missed it, I don't know what happened. It just kind of went dark on us, but welcome back to the 11th hour. Happy 2019, everybody. It's really, really good to be back doing the 11th hour. Um, I know a lot of people that see me sometime, they'll say, man, you do this thing and be late at night, man. I'll be asleep, man. I don't really be up. If you missed this uh, opportunity to see this, I typically put these on my YouTube channel, uh, Dwayne Hirsch, uh, within a couple of days or a week or so, whatever, it's it's up there uh, for you to take a look at. But tonight, I want to get straight to the topic. All of us right now are in this excited mode. We're excited because there's a new year afoot right now. Uh, it's 2019. Everybody's got their resolutions. And everybody's excited about what a new year can bring as real estate professionals. Again, I'm Dwayne Hirsch from uh, EXP Realty, Hirsch Network Real Estate Brokered by EXP Realty. But as a real estate professional, we're excited because it's about to be that time of year when sales get hot, when everybody's talking about home ownership. And a lot of times that doesn't take center stage in the news. Uh, but it is now because this is an election year. And the reason why home ownership takes uh, precedent, takes stage at this time of year in an election year is because property taxes are heavy on the menu as far as the mayoral election is coming up. Now, the issue got dealt with when the Cook County Assessor, Joseph Berrios, was replaced by incoming Cook County Assessor, Fritz Kage. Now, a lot of you were at our Hyde Park Happy Hour event back in July where Fritz Kage was there, and he talked to us about the fact that in the Tribune, a study had come out and had confirmed that there was a disparity in the way that property taxes were being assessed in underserved communities in Chicago versus, say, the more affluent communities, the downtown areas, some of the north side areas, and that the underserved communities, the south side, the west side, are essentially paying the greater portion of the tax burden for home ownership inside the city of Chicago and for, in Cook County, for that matter. It's the Cook County taxes that were under question. And it was even accused that he was using Zillow <laughs> in this process to create valuations and that it was just an office that was overrun and in chaos. I'm here to tell you uh, as a member of the executive board of the Small Business Advocacy Council and in that duty and in staying in contact with these issues so that I can keep you informed and keep you ahead of what's coming as I always have. I went to Fritz Kegge's uh, inauguration at Kenwood High School, which is where he went to school at, and we talked again about it. And he confirmed for me that, yes, they are going to reassess the entirety of Cook County during his first four years in office, and they're starting with downtown. But here's a question. One day we didn't get to ask him at that time, and, and we're happy in his position that he's going to make that change, but here's the difference. What is the homeowner going to do right now? because he wants to buy a house where the property taxes have been overassessed, and now he's got to pay that into a mortgage and that's going to raise his payment by a hundred dollars a month, $200 a month, or even $50 a month or $10 a month. If it's overassessed, it's that much too much anyway. So what happens to the person that wants to sell their home? Whose property taxes are so high that nobody wants to look at their home now. Property taxes being, assessed that way, create Im imbalances in the marketplace. And they affect you as a homeowner, and they affect all of us as real estate professionals. So tonight I want to introduce you to a tool that you may or may not heard of before, but it's one that as a real estate professional, you can use as a homeowner, you can definitely use it. But as a real estate professional, whether you are a real estate agent, an insurance professional, or a loan officer, you have an opportunity to provide a tool for your clients that will make them very happy that they did business with you because you're going to give them an opportunity to, to one, figure out where they sit on that plateau of overassessment right now and give them the opportunity to appeal that right now through the Property Tax Fox system. Again, it's called Property Tax Fox. You can take a look at it. If you want to take a look at it while we're talking, go to Dwayne. Hirsch.com and go to my corporate partners page, click on property tax Fox, link yourself in. You'll be able to uh, sign up for one year access free. Take a look at this website. And as a real estate professional, I'll give you a couple of ideas on how that works. So uh, as a real estate agent, 
if I'm working with a buyer and they're interested in a property, what I want to be able to do is go in and show him right away that I'm on top of everything uh, about this property as it relates to the numbers. So yes, the property taxes are what they are. We got, we got a site we're going to go to. We're going to make sure that those property taxes are paid. But now we're going to go to Property Tax Fox and find out if the property taxes are properly assessed. Because if they're paying too much in property taxes, I want that client to know right away that, hey, you're going to be able to go right into this property saving money because the taxes are over assessed. We'll be able to use Property Tax Fox to uh, appeal that and hopefully bring them to a stage of correctness and save money in a one, two, three year period or what have you. So this is something that as a real estate professional, as a buyer agent, I can use that if I'm working for a seller and I think that their property taxes or I can see that their property taxes are out of whack. I want to let them know because they might want to start that appeals process while they're listing their property, before they're listing their property to make sure that their property stays in line with the, with the market forces that will allow them, of course, to get a quick sale. And a property uh, that has taxes that are assessed too high can make a, a really, really nice property that much less appealing. Now, where the rubber really meets the road for this, though, from a real estate professional side is with you that are in the lending, lending business. So I, I know, uh, shout out to my guy, Aubrey Locke from Key Mortgage, my corporate partner, my man, Tony P. I see him on here, Anatoly Nurseberg from House Mortgage. I love what you guys are coming into the market doing and other partners of mine that are out there. But if you're in the lending game, you need to be aware of Property Tax Fox and make your clients aware of that off the top. Because all of your clients are not just buying houses, they're refinancing houses. So what happens when they call you to save money through a rate and term refinance? Rates are creeping up a little bit, which means they save less, but you get to introduce them to property tax box, and now they can save property taxes too, which is something that they would not have known about if you hadn't told them. It gives you a loyal client, one that's going to tell their friends about you, and then one that's going to be happy as hell in the plainest sense that you were able to save them that kind of money. An insurance agent, you have the same advantage when you're giving homeowners insurance quotes, car insurance quotes, and you can just say, hey, if you guys had an opportunity, I know you own a home, we insure your home. Hey, if you had an opportunity to take a look at Property Tax Fox to see what your taxes are like and to make sure that you're properly assessed, and if you can help that client save money, again, you create a loyal client that's gonna be very happy with the fact that you save money for them. You save money, you save deals, you save money, you save clients. And that's what really our job is to do in real estate. So this type of uh, tool is so timely, it's technological, right? It's built on a real-time database of all of the factors that play into property tax assessment. When you put that uh, address in there, it's gonna tell you what the real tax is, ask you for a little bit more information, tell you what the real tax, what the taxes are, what they should be, if you see an imbalance there, that makes sense, you know, you, you're gonna wanna click in and make sure that you talk to one of the representatives, you wanna talk to someone and find out what your real options are, or you can just click through and go ahead and appeal the process from right there. But, you know, that way you're not taking a wait and see approach to this, right? So Fritz Kagey is gonna come in, and I got every confidence in that man that he's gonna do what he said he was gonna do. He's an awesome guy, and I would encourage you all to engage his office and give him the encourage that he needs to stand strong and make this work. You know, not just from the perspective of, you know, I want to sell more houses to more people, but the game has got to be fair. And we got a new guy there who's not a machine politician. He was not the candidate, candidate of choice by all of the, you know, the machine folks downtown. He's just a guy from Kenwood, from Hyde Park area that, really just wants to see things be right. And so we want to give him every opportunity to do that. But in the meantime, for your clients and for yourself, if you're a homeowner, go in and find out where you stand now. Don't take the way and wait and see approach because it's going to take him, and he said it openly, a considerable amount of time to do what it is that he has to do in the way of reassessing and reevaluating Cook County but you can go to a place like Property Tax Fox, a service, a tool like Property Tax Fox, and get that done now. Uh, and you can access that. I would encourage you to access it tonight by going to DwayneHurst.com, clicking on our Corporate Partners tab, 
and checking off and going to property tax box and then signing yourself up in a way that allow you to look at that information that you can share with your clients if you're a real estate professional and then also if you're a homeowner to be able to look at your own situation so in 2019 we want to make sure as always that i keep you on the front of all of the information that's relevant to you and so it's also important that you know this for the last 10 years roughly this being the 10th year coming uh i've hosted networking events and i've connected thousands of you a lot of the people that you see that seem to know everybody know everybody because they were in a place where everybody came and that was business spotlight networking hosted by myself and miss fuzzy so uh over those years we've connected a lot of people we've done a lot of work but now it's time for me to hang that hat up and so this year we're going to be doing for for the 10th anniversary of business spotlight networking we're going to be doing 10 events january through october third wednesday of the month every month is going to be something still new something exciting something fresh we've changed the venue now it's going to be at 5115 south harper at the private venue it's a private event private venue now it's a little bit different for this last year so everybody's gonna have to uh go to uh dwaynehurst.com sign up for the newsletter so you can get the invitations now for the event so this last year is going to be something that's going to be very special and it, and as always i'm always going to be doing my best to keep you in front of the information you know one of my challenges uh over that 10 years and i'd just like to tell you about this before you leave tonight has been that people have always felt like you know i've always engaged everybody i'm a real estate professional now but i came on here tonight to empower real estate agents. I'm an agent owner with EXP Realty and Hearst Network Real Estate, broken by EXP Realty, but I want to share that information with everyone because I've always worked from a spirit of collaboration with everyone. So in this 10th and final year of Business Spotlight Networking, you're going to see me start to build on that collaborative effort, not just through the real estate industry, but other industries. And so for me, that focus shift from bringing you together to keeping you together and keeping you building and productive so if you want to know what's next for me just look toward the future and what we can build on together now that we've all come together and we all know one another so once again tonight our subject was property taxes and how to make sure that as a homeowner and or a real estate professional that you can make sure that your clients or yourself are being assessed properly and that you can appeal that and get yourself back to saving money like you should and giving yourself access to a system that quite honestly up to this point has been the one that's only been used by wealthier people who can afford to make these type of appeals property tax fox has made that easy for you they've engaged hersh network business group and my uh company and and the high park happy hour and the rest of what i do in an effort to be able to share that with you and show that to you so you can show and share it to others so a part of how we unify is by sharing we don't have to agree on anything but we can share information with one another and we can do our best to stay clear of each other's path to greater things so again thank you very much tonight don't make the 11th hour your last hour this show has always been about the people that are up late working working to do whatever you didn't do early in the day answer that email make that other phone call and give yourself let's say tonight give me another 45 minutes go hard to midnight but i gotta get out of here in the morning head to detroit on some real estate business for exp realty and head right back uh hopefully to pay homage and honor uh to one of our fallen brothers brian sleep uh honor and respect to any of his friends and family that might be watching he was a great man and i certainly uh have always uh he was always a person who appreciated the work that i do and i appreciate it he is very very much and uh i hope that the work that i continue to do can be done to honor people like brian sleep so thank you very much and i'll see you guys again on the next 11th hour.